All right, it is time for Off the Bench Mailbag. You send us your questions. We answer them live on air. We'll start with this one. Why does The Bachelor always cry after he's dated 20 beautiful ladies and then chooses the one who just wants the spotlight? I, look, I, 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 I get mean, it. I, 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 I get it from that. I think The Bachelor does a lot of things where, yeah, you probably feel very close to these people and you feel like you're upsetting some people by not choosing them or whatever. So that'd, be, that'd be pretty intense, right? Kind of breaking up with someone, I guess. Uh, You're breaking up with like 20 people. Yeah, yeah. But but it's really weird when, and I call it like five minutes of last night, and it was maybe the most awkward roast here I've ever seen. Like, how do you feel if you're the girls that stick around when he is like broken down, crying, upset about the girl that he has to say goodbye to? Right. And yeah. then like, how are you supposed to be like, Oh, I'm so happy right now. Like immediately it's it's yeah. it's, it's 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 all very awkward. Bachelor's getting like weirder with time. Just the mm-hmm. the concept of the show. But as you said, they're t- they're making moves. Yesterday uh yesterday you told us that the new bachelorette, uh Claire, is that yes, her name? She Claire. is 38 years old. She's been on the show like a million times. Wow. Yeah, so that's awesome. exciting, you know. Uh, new age dating in America. And I can't <laughs> tell if this is a shot or not. But in the commercial, they were like, now we're, we're, we're now casting seniors. So if you're a senior, give your application <laughs> do the best. I was like, oh. What? What's Damn, that? I'd be mad if I was Claire. <laughs> Define senior, you know? Yeah. Um, so oh, is. Wait. No. You're not a senior, but come no. on, come on. Oh, Jordan, my on. gosh. Dude, too many Go skeletons in the closet, bro. How have Go we not Claire. thought of this? Come I mean, on, bro. Now's your time. We can make Baton a professional video. chops me up video. as a single human being. Wait if I go on national television. Yes, dude. It, it would make be a, great TV. It would oh be great TV. Gosh. It would be great TV. I would do it for the show. We're going to nominate you 100% <laughs> at least. Jordy shows up with an off-the-bench carriage. Is a ba- it's like a sponsored tux. <laughs> Cares is a bad version of one chest. You got to do that. Do Claire, do you have insurance? <laughs> have you met my boy Gucci? <laughs> Landwalk across the back. <laughs> Put you in all touch with Randy. <laughs> Look, a lot of a lot of people do that. The girls, especially, they work with clothing lines. You could do it. <laughs> uh. I get upset thinking about him. I, I just think about going to Donald's so glass. <laughs> she broke my glass, man. All right, all right. Let's move on. Okay, so are you wrong for overtly steering clear of a sick coworker? He's wrong no. for coming into work. Yes, yeah. mm, agreed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna shame yeah. him until he shames into like, leaving. No one has time to be sick. Like, don't bring that in here. Yeah, our culture is throwing some shade on uh, Jordy here. Confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> <Well, it's like laughs> yeah, I'm still rubbing both eyes. So. Jordy came up in here looking like he had a that. case of COVID-19 the pink eye. <laughs> yeah, I've been bad about that my whole life though. I've I've learned recently that if you're sick, it's not it's not it's not a toughness thing. It's like. Nobody else wants to be it's sick. It's a, I'm pregnant thing, and keep that away from yeah, me. Yeah, we all okay, got stuff that. to I do. do get that, but I use it as a negotiating chip. <laughs> I used to come into work all the time sick. <laughs> well, that's a problem. That yeah, is kind of in yeah. our culture. Like, that is, yeah, that's it. Poor uh, culture. You have the ability to summon a single clone of you that is programmed to follow your orders. <laughs> the clone disappears after two hours, and you have to wait two hours to do it again. What do you use your clone for? And it just acts like me? Yeah, it works. Yeah. It's Absolutely. Just, I mean, but I, it does I whatever like, you tell it to do. I like doing this. But yeah, any busy work? Or yeah, Paperwork. like like stuff you don't want to do. Paperwork. You know? like taxes. Eat, eat lunch with people. Yeah, taxes. Emails. I got two hours of a Sitting babysitter. At the desk. I mean, yeah. having to take care of my daughter so I don't have to hang out with this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> TJ and I, had butt, I not. We, we had butt over this all day long, man. I mean, yep. as a salesman, I'm much more effective out there selling the product, talking the product. Bring me back in the office for emails yeah. and busy work. And I'm dead man walking, man. If I could get a robot or a clone to sit in the office all day <laughs> and put in orders and, and shoot out emails. Be golden. Bro, I, I mean, just watched a movie about I would this. be a killer scene. I've never seen it. Wait, who's Keaton. in that? Michael, Michael Keaton. Keaton. Yeah, that's yeah. right. It's pretty goofy, but if you're really interested in the concept, you should watch it. Would you? Uh, ah, never mind. I was going to go. I was, gonna, I, like yeah, 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 I was going to greasy places. Okay. Uh, someone honks at you to get out of a parking spot. Do you rush to move or do you take your sweet time? I did this last Sunday you night. Honked you honked at someone? I did. Joy. Oh, my God. It was the Bacchus Parade, uh. first on, and I was trying to get to the ball, and the guy <laughs> was sitting in his car, and he had been there for three and a half minutes. Are you going to go or are you not? Right? I mean, and he had the reverse Obviously lights not. on. I'm rolling something up. He had up. the reverse lights on. But maybe he was, like, Vape dealing with his kid or, like, <laughs> you know... I get stressed out in my car sometimes because I'm like dealing with the stuff. This is Sunday night of Mardi Gras. I know. This is Sunday night of Mardi Gras at 9 o'clock. 
I'm Parker, trying to get, get to the, the ball. Pot. I'm, I'm trying <laughs> to get to the ball when I'm walking downtown and someone needs to go. I don't, I don't speed up. Even well, if I have you don't have leg. a car, Look, bro. <laughs> I mean, what are you? Yeah, you're you're, you're, okay, you're yeah, omitted no, from this question. You drive a bike everywhere. It's well, a lot of pity for me and car people. To be fair, <laughs> if you honk at me. Jordy, if you had honked at me, I you would sat have there. sat there. You sat there, okay. I would have sat there. So would I. Sure. So would I. <laughs> but you I are trying to get to the ball. I would have gotten out of my car and been like, what's the problem? Yeah, I'd be like, oh, I'm staying. Again, bro. Like, you don't stay in the car. <laughs> yeah, but no, I got a green bottle. I'm have, like, I'm staying now. I have somewhere I, to be, gonna, but now I'm, I'm here. Bro. Are you leaving or not? <laughs> Let's see. With the success of Jimmy Burrow's interviews, what other current player's parent might make a good recurring interview in well, sport? We've asked Derek Stingley Sr. Yep. Yes, Next but he season. comes on, we so he's so good. I think he's going to take the Tuesday 8 a.m. We love Big During Sting. the season. Huh? Perfect. You know? No, no, we're good. Is Roman Harper's dad as cool as Roman Harper? No. Yeah. Oh. That's a really uh, good question. Uh, that is a great question. <laughs> Nobody's as cool as Roman Harper. <laughs> <laughs> Will you watch the dude, um, I think it's tomorrow night, tightrope across a volcano? I saw the first commercial for that this morning. Maybe I haven't no, been they, watching they much have been TV lately. That's what I'm saying. I just saw it this morning. Um, no, sounds kind of crazy. I'm not going to watch it. I don't care. He's not going to fall. I mean, I'm with you. <laughs> I'm with you. Okay. Do you think that totally they're willing to air this, this thing? I think NBC Imagine. or ABC. So, so it's but on cable television? It's like on. He's fallen. He's but not fall. Palmer, fall. I don't know, but Palmer's guy, Mad Mike. That's uh, true. Uh, the, the, the Daredevil, right? Science Channel was filming that launch. But it wasn't like the live. No, it wasn't live. That is true. It wasn't live. Do y'all think he's going to have a safety harness on them? I got nothing. I don't know how a volcano crossing works. I think that's the whole thing about... Doesn't he have to walk with a gas mask? Don't. Yeah, you don't. Because of the gases coming out of the volcano? Oh, I don't know. That would make sense to my general studies brain. That sounds... Like, I, yes, I feel <laughs> that like that. sounds gas. right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, are you willing to stand in the mirror... And say Candyman five times. Yes, I easily. absolutely am not. Have you? You've not seen the movies. No. Um, I'm not playing that game. I just, um, Rivers. I read this before the break. I did it in the bathroom. Did you do it? <laughs> Great. We're all gonna get murdered now. So watch out. Ugh. All gonna get murdered with that hook. Um, so Candyman, if you don't know, is this movie from the '90s. Such a good movie. Um, they are Jordan Peele is doing like a direct sequel to the original movie yeah. that's gonna come out this year and the first trailer dropped last week they've got this like creepy beyonce like say my name remix in the background yeah. it's like oh it sounds very jordan peele <laughs> um also the the main actor the original's coming the guys i don't know what part he's gonna play but he's gonna be in the movie yeah the, so the main actor i'm not sure todd something if, if what else he's been in, but I recognize him from that recent Watchmen show where uh, he, he was fantastic. He is fantastic in Candyman. So if you've never seen the original Candyman, I suggest that you go do that. And don't say Candyman to the mirror five times. Too late. <laughs> I, don't, I don't, yeah, I don't. It's just, okay, it's okay. Y'all are the kind of people in the movie who get killed, you know? Oh, yeah, that's true. Um, that's true. Let's see. T Bob, would you have preferred a longer break um, and spring ball starting later? The early March spring ball and just get it over with or didn't care for spring ball. It always sucked. Um, I, I think the only thing I didn't like about spring ball didn't you make moves in, in, spring in, ball? in college. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, spring, spring, you know, spring's a great time because you're only practicing three times a week. So it's not actually that much of a grind. And it's a great chance to learn and prove all that stuff. The only year that sucked one year, we did two weeks of spring, spring break, and then two weeks of spring, Oof. which you want to talk about. Trying to get your mind right after you've been in like Ugh. Pensacola for a week, just getting silly, Ugh. silly inebriated. Well, get back into shit. And then back into it. Yeah, no, the first week back was terrible. So, like, I didn't care as long as spring break wasn't just smack dab. No, it was awesome when it was at the end. Spring break was Yeah. Oh, didn't you think you were yeah. dying one time, spring break, and you had to come back for football? Yeah, yeah you know, I uh, partied pretty hard. I did some things I maybe shouldn't have done. And uh, Purple pants, Bobby? Your boy might have had a party about purple pants, big time. Um, I had a broken leg at the time. I'm, like, crutching around the sand. I'm in a wheelchair the whole time, too. Uh, That's so messy. You have, like, a cast on? Yeah, cast oh, on, open wound. Sand everywhere. And, uh, and I had convinced myself that I had a blood clot. <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, it to me, it was a great learning experience on the power of the mind because I was giving my death speech to my wife. I'm calling my mom. I'm crying. I'm like, it's over. I'm dead. I'm like, my body is racked with pain. And then the second the morphine hit my blood, your boy was I'm fine. Back. I was just like, ooh. Uh, I'm, this is <laughs> Maybe I've been a bit dramatic. Y'all are not going to believe this. <laughs> I mean, this is embarrassing. But uh, I'm fine. <laughs> so, yeah.
All right, we got two more questions. Let's get through these. Wow. I'm 41. Am I too old to attend Uncle Earl's St. Patrick's Day parade party? Hell no. No, I don't think you're ever too That's old. That's the great part about a parade. No. You're yeah. not the awkward old guy, no, right? Like you go to the there. bar. Yeah, you go yeah. to the bar. Yes, you are. But no, you're not but a feeling, man. <laughs> That's true. Uh, that's what Aaliyah said. Future bachelor contestant right here. Gonna uh, let, 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 let my sign off. <laughs> you know? uh, last one. You're on the way Claire? out, Chris. Age ain't nothing but a feeling, man. <laughs> <laughs> what is your biggest nerd thing that you're embarrassed about? I, <laughs> I don't know that I'm embarrassed, I don't get about, embarrassed about a lot about much, of things so. that I love. If, if I'm truly into it and love it, like that's my thing. I'm not embarrassed about liking alone. it. Would you say? There has Eat to alone. Be something from that's not something to be embarrassed it. about. Yeah, I mean. Uh, I'm sure. I'm like sure. a nerd thing, you know? Like, I don't know. There's nothing from your past. Not that I'm embarrassed about, like a nerd thing well, that I'm into. I used to play a <laughs> You're lot like, of the I Frisbee got that they call Ultimate. That's not embarrassing, oh, yeah. though. Big into Ultimate it. I was, Frisbee, I was bro. Slick, you know? <laughs> I think that but that's. Uh, you know, I, I spent so much time being a frisbee player and now what do i say like oh i'm really, I'm really good at frisbee. <laughs> i'm an ultimate frisbee right? yeah i don't tell anyone that a frisbee vet it I, doesn't matter how good i am you're, you're, you're playing frisbee bro. i think that in some circles you might be considered really cool for having done that yeah, what's the circles what, i want to be cool <laughs> what's, <laughs> what's 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 nerdier though ultimate frisbee or frisbee golf frisbee I, golf hell no Gotta i think be frisbee, frisbee golf, golf I think is frisbee nerdier golf. now i'll say the name ultimate frisbee it doesn't help the <laughs> yeah. Ultimate. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's so, yeah, i play frisbee they're like what, just frisbee. what kind of frisbee do you play like frisbee like uh like, bro uh, come on this ain't for frisbee, the week you know <laughs> but look it's gotten so popular. missy's day i know has like they have a club hockey team they also yes. have a club ultimate frisbee team hopefully they're better <laughs> hopefully they're better 